28 states, 9 union territories, 2116 languages, 4600 castes, 6 religions, 6 ethnic groups, 600 tribes, 29 major festivals, 6,44,000 villages, 145 crores of people and one nation, India. No wonder, no wonder Mahatma Gandhiji had said, India is to me the dearest country in the world. Mahatma Gandhiji had said, India is to me the dearest country in the world, not because it is my country, but because I have discovered the greatest goodness in it. What is that goodness? This often I inform our audience, especially students, because we should realize the potential of our country and the greatness of our country. Why did Mahatma Gandhiji could see greatness that exists in our country on this land that we are not able to? I felt, why did Gandhiji said that statement? Maybe, perhaps because of the love and respect we show to our parents, the care we take of the aged people, and with utmost affection, we bring up our children and provide them good education, get them employed, find a worthy life partner and get them married. And in the old age, you play with the grandchildren and live happily. Where else in the world you would, you would find such a family culture? That's why the India, India is looked at with great astonishment. The kind of harmony we have and cooperative living we have, but there are problems in our country too. We should realize, as youth, you should analyze, you should understand the core of the problems of our country. Friends, our country is so emotionally attached. Whatever be the problems, we have that gene called happiness. We have that happiness in our genes. We are happy people in the world. Friends, I had the good fortune of undergoing a PG diploma at Bergen University, Norway on fisheries management for one year. After our one month of orientation, we were sent to our different universities. I, I traveled by train to Bergen from Oslo. On the train, when I was traveling, at one station, a young university student boarded the compartment and he came and sat in front of me. He was busy with listening to music. This was in 1987. Those days, carrying big music set on the shoulders and walking around was the fashion. So he had brought such a big music set on his shoulders and he sat in front of me, he was listening to the music. I was reading something and all. All of a sudden, what made him, I don't know, he removed the ear plugs and he looked at me and asked me, are you from Pakistan? <laughs> because we Indians and Pakistanis, we all look alike, same black hair, same appearance. So he just asked me, are you from Pakistan? I said, no, I am from India. India, will you please tell me something about Gandhiji? I was so surprised that he's showing interest in understanding Gandhiji. I had just then seen Richard Attenborough's Gandhi movie, both English and Hindi version. I remembered every scene and I lectured him for one hour during our journey. When his station came, now listen to me, what happened later. When his station came, he, before alighting, he took out his purse from his pocket and he removed 40 kroner currency note 
and he came to keep it in my pocket i said no no i don't want i don't want no no this is a small gift from me to the man from the land of mahatma gandhi ji i virtually had tears in my eyes what is this who am i in this land i am nobody nobody knows me yet i was felicitated because of our mahatma gandhi ji and this great land called bharat india <laughs> friends i wanted to share this with our students uh, my experiences now i would like to entertain you the kind of diversity we have in our country in a humorous way if i can yes. narrate every state in our country is unique for instance west bengal for writing punjab for fighting andhra pradesh for hard working kerala for learning nagaland for hills maharashtra for mills manipur for dance manipur for dance odisha for glance assam for tea karnataka for it goa for beaches himachal pradesh for spices bombay for beauty delhi for majesty gujarat for wealth madhya pradesh for health rajasthan for costumes up for poems lakshadweep for hospitality andaman nicobar for scenic beauty jharkhand for mines pondicherry for wines <laughs> kashmir for looking chennai for cooking <laughs> this is the kind of diversity we have friends i would like to end my few words that i was asked to narrate in front of you with one of the poems that i have composed on india samruddha bharata samruddha bharata ದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ವರ್ಷಂಪ್ರತಿ ನಿಯಮಿತವಾಗಿ ಸುರಿಯುವ ಧಾರಾಕಾರ ಮಳೆ ಜನಜೀವನವನ್ನು ಹಸನಾಗಿಸಿ ಸುಭಿಕ್ಷೆ ತರುವ ಸಮೃದ್ಧ ಬೆಳೆ ಉಕ್ಕಿ ಹರಿಯುವ ನದಿ ಜಲಾಶಯ ಜಲಪಾತಗಳ ರಮಣೀಯ ದೃಶ್ಯ ಪಶು ಪಕ್ಷಿ ಪ್ರಾಣಿ ಜೀವ ಸಂಕುಲಗಳಿಂದ ಕೂಡಿದ ವೈವಿಧ್ಯಮಯ ಶ್ರೀಮಂತಿಕೆ ನಿತ್ಯ ಹರಿದ್ವರ್ಣದಿಂದ ಕೂಡಿ ಕಂಗೊಳಿಸುವ ದಟ್ಟ ಅರಣ್ಯ ಚಾರಣಿಗರಿಗೆ ಸವಾಲಾಗಿ ಜಲಧಾರೆಗೆ ಸೆಲೆಯಾಗಿ ನಿಂತಹ ಪಶ್ಚಿಮ ಘಟ್ಟಗಳ ಸಾಲು ಅಡಿಕೆ ತೆಂಗು ಮಾವು ಹಲಸು ಗೋಡುಂಬೆ ವೃಕ್ಷಗಳ ರಾಶಿ ರಾಶಿ ಮೆರುಗು ಹಿಮಾಚ್ಛಾದಿತ ಮೇರು ಪರ್ವತಗಳ ವಿಹಂಗಮ ನೋಟದ ಬೆರಗು ವಿದೇಶಿಯರ ಆಕ್ರಮಣ ಎದುರಿಸಲು ಬೆಂಗಾವಲಾಗಿ ನಿಂತಿವೆಯೋ ಎಂಬಂತೆ ಕಂಡುಬರುವ ಸಾಗರ ಸಮುದ್ರಗಳು ಮೀನುಗಾರರ ಬಾಳಿಗೆ ಬೆನ್ನೆಲುಬಾಗಿ ನಿಂತಹ ಕರಾವಳಿ ತೀರ ಎನಿತು ಸೋಜಿಗ ಸಂಪನ್ಮೂಲ ಸಂಪದ್ಭರಿತ ದೇಶ ನಮ್ಮಿ ಭಾರತ